So this is it, the ultimate evolved form of the paintbrush. This is a fire extinguisher that has been repurposed to be used as a paintbrush. So you can purchase these anywhere really online on eBay, Craigslist. I got this one from eBay from an individual in Brooklyn, New York for around $80. It's a used, refurbished fire extinguisher. Now, you wanna make sure you get the water fire extinguishers because the chemical ones are too hard to work with. I've seen videos of people successfully converting the chemical powder fire extinguisher to a spray paint one, but that's way too much work. So better just to go with the water ones. Now, you might be asking yourself, when would you use this type of artistic device? Well, the two main reasons you would use this is one, if you need speed with high volume output, two, if you need reach due to height restrictions. In my opinion, the fire extinguisher is really the ultimate form of the artist paintbrush. The amount of paint this thing can output is around 2.5 gallons per minute. So that is just ridiculous in terms of getting the artist's imagination onto the canvas or onto the wall. It's really just so powerful. It's so powerful. I mean, it's such an amazing tool for getting the artist's imagination and creative vision onto the canvas. One of the main issues people have with this type of improvised painting device is that the tip of the fire extinguisher is too wide. So if it's too wide, that means it's not gonna shoot as far, which is a big issue because you wanna have as much reach as possible. So how we alleviate that issue is we put a new tip on using the tip of one of these liquid nail things you get at Home Depot. So all you gotta do is cut the tip off this and then put it on here.
The smaller the tip, the further it will shoot. You wanna make sure that's on very tightly because this is going to be under high pressure and if it's not on tight enough, it will blow it out. So by far the most controversial part of using the refurbished fire extinguisher is the ratio of paint to water. And we are talking about water here because using oil-based paint in a fire extinguisher that's meant to shoot water is only going to lead to massive problems. So you have to use water-based paint also known as latex paint. So the main issues we're looking at here is what ratio of water to use versus the ratio of paint. I've seen ratios of one to one, so that's 50% water with 50% water-based paint. I've seen ratios as diluted as one part paint to four parts water, which would give you something like 20% paint. So for me, I think the best ratio is three parts paint to five parts water. So that's roughly 37.5% paint. And the reason being this, of course, we can't have too much paint. It's going to clog our small nozzle that we just made. However, the bigger issue is what I call the throw or the distance that we can shoot the paint from the fire extinguisher onto the canvas. So if our paint is too thick or too heavy or too much of a percentage paint, we're not going to be able to shoot as far as if we have a more diluted ammunition to shoot. Another controversial issue is the filling of the fire extinguisher. I've read online that you need to leave space for the compressed air inside the fire extinguisher. So we're using a 2.5 gallon fire extinguisher. I've read online that you need to leave at least a half gallon to a gallon worth of space for the air. Now that is complete BS because I actually read through the manual for the, the water fire extinguisher and you're supposed to leave zero amount for the air and fill it completely to 2.5 gallons of water. So I don't think we have to leave any space for air at all. That is the whole point of creating pressure is that there is no space for the air. That is what creates the pressure to begin with. So we're going to completely fill the fire extinguisher with a combination of water and paint. Now for this, Fire extinguisher, I think most of them are 2.5 gallon capacity for the water ones. So we're going to be filling it with three parts paint to five parts water. So like I said earlier, that's 37.5% paint. So this might not be the safest way to open a paint container, but it is an effective way to open one.
Okay, so this fire extinguisher is 2.5 gallons of full capacity water. But the thing they don't tell you is there's this little stem that goes into the fire extinguisher and that takes up some of the water volume. So really it's only 2.4 gallons of full capacity water. So if you remember our three to five rule, we're doing three parts of paint to five parts of water. So that's going to be 0.9 gallons of paint, which is roughly 115 ounces of paint. And that's going to be mixed with 1.5 gallons of water or 192 ounces of water. Now it's always important to mix the paint to the water and not the water to the paint. And it's always important to mix outside the fire extinguisher. You want to mix the paint beforehand. And the reason is that if you mix it outside, you can mix it up much better. But if you mix it inside the fire extinguisher, you won't be able to get that good of a mix on it. All right, it's important to make sure that you don't get any kind of particulate into the mix or any kind of objects that could block your super paintbrush, AKA the fire extinguisher paintbrush. You want to mix it so it's homogeneous, completely homogeneous, which isn't very hard because it's paint mixed in water. That's what latex paint is. And we're just mixing it with more water. So naturally everything wants to mix together anyway. Now you want to pour it in fairly slowly because as the paint water mixture enters the fire extinguisher, the air inside the fire extinguisher needs time to escape. So if you pour it in too fast, you have a giant violent volcanic explosion of paint in your face from the air trying to escape.
So to fill the fire extinguisher, you'll notice that it has the same air port as a bicycle tire or a motorcycle tire or a car tire. So I use this little air gun that I got at Harbor Freight and to provide the power, I use this giant 20 gallon air compressor. So this thing is loud as hell and pretty annoying to use, but it gets the job done. If you don't have an air compressor, you can use a bicycle tire, or if you go to a gas station and use one of the air compressors they have to fill up car tires, you can use that as well. I just prefer using this giant air compressor because I can do it in the privacy of my own residence and I can fill up a bunch of fire extinguishers at the same time and get them to the exact pressure I want them at.